What's up everybody? I'm Mike. And I'm Grace. This is Fitness Wealth. So today uh, we're going to be doing an interview from FinCon, another one of Mike's How Do You Money? And we're going to be learning about the two rules of Personal Finance Club. Personal Finance Club, which is from Jeremy. He actually already has a net worth of $3 million, And he's someone that's here locally in San Diego and is able to live off of $36,000 annually in San Diego. Pretty cool. Can't wait to hear the conversation. What's up, everybody? This is Jeremy from Personal Finance Club, and this is how he moneys. Well, my background is actually in uh, software. I started an internet company when I was in college and sold it four years ago. And then I found myself in a place where I had this big financial windfall, and I wanted to be a good manager of this money. And so I basically started reading every single book I could get my hands on on personal finance and investing. And it turns out all the books say the exact same thing. And they're, it's really simple, but the world is really complicated because there's a lot of businesses and entities out there who have incentives to like not be in line with the investor. Um, and I know that contributes to this huge wealth inequality in the world. And so I really want to just basically take this, what is essentially a very simple message and bring it to people who have never had the opportunity to have a good financial role model or a good uh, you know, financial education. And so that was basically the, the, the cause and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, try to reduce wealth inequality through financial education. So hack is like a cool word, but the thing is like, it's a simple, simple situation, a simple answer, which is to live below your means and invest early and often. Those are my, the two rules of personal finance club. That's what I talk about all the time. It's not a hack because there's no trick and everyone, I feel like everyone wants a trick. And at the, at the end of the day, if you want to be rich, you have to do two things. You have to spend less than you make, because if you spend everything you make, you'll be broke forever. Then with the difference, you invest it. If you do those two things and you are consistent, you'll be massively wealthy over time. Well, I'm a big Jack Bogle fan. Uh, he's the founder of Vanguard. He's kind of the inventor, or at least the guy who made index funds popular. Um, and I think he's an altruistic, powerful voice in the world of investing, which there are very few of. Um, and he, you know, I think he single-handedly probably saved or made individual investors untold billions of dollars. And he unfortunately recently passed away earlier this year. Um, and I would like to help, you know, keep spreading his message, which is to basically buy and hold index funds, uh, minimize expenses, and you don't have to do super complicated investing and like day trading and financial managers and all these helpers who are just draining money from individual investors. Just stay the course, do the simple thing. So Jack Bull goes by number one, and I guess if I had to pick a second, Warren Buffett is great, and he basically has the same message. I love that he famously bet Wall Street experts a million dollars that his simple index fund would beat their fancy Wall Street hedge funds over a 10-year period. And over 10 years, the hedge funds returned about 2.2%, and the, uh, the index fund returns 7%. So even though, Wal even though Warren Buffett is a you know, monumental investor and, and has famously beat the market for years, he still recommends just matching the market, buy and hold index fund, and you're gonna beat most experts. I think the best advice I've received is kind of the Bogleheads rules of investing. There's 10 rules of investing and there's simple things like invest early and often, uh, minimize fees, use index funds when possible. I know this isn't one piece of advice, but if you, you read up on what the Bogleheads recommend, um, and I guess if I had to say one thing that's maybe my favorite would is stay the course because so many people constantly reacting to like whatever the most recent headline is. I'm just currently getting like a dozen messages today about some article that said index funds are bad. I'm just like, you know what, like, would you, could you go, if you could go back and buy an index fund 20 years ago, would you? And of course, you, it's a, a quarter of the price it is today. And so you, we four extra money, but there's a, there's a bubble 19 years ago. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter what's happening this week or this month or this year. If you have that long-term perspective and you stay the course. I, the people I love talking to are actual financial advisors who are altruistic financial advisors. They do, they're fee only. They, you know, they're in it for the same reason I am, which is they love helping people. They want people to do better for money. Um, but they have built businesses in such a way where they're not trying to sell whole life insurance to young people or, um, you know, kill you with fees. And they really, you know, they would never take on a client who they couldn't actually provide a positive benefit to. So I think the people I love talking to the most, and I think are the best in this kind of thing, are, are really good altruistic fee-only financial advisors. Right now I'm 
just up to building out my Instagram and my YouTube and my Facebook page. I'm building great content. I'm trying to build a following and build a community. Um, I just love making the content. I love connecting with people and, and striking a chord in people's lives. Um, soon, podcast coming soon, and I just have big visions about what the future holds in terms of reaching many millions of people and helping uh, reduce wealth inequality through financial education. Most of the magic happens right now on Instagram, at Personal Finance Club. There's the shirt. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, uh, I'm on YouTube, and a podcast coming soon. So that was awesome, Mike. Seems like a really smart, interesting guy. What were the few things that we should really take away from that conversation? So at Personal Finance Club, remember the two rules, which is live below your means and invest early and often. If you guys like that, make sure you comment down below who else you want me to interview and make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.